guys, I have another quick resin update. Um, I have been working on Halloween stuff this week, so I've got a few Halloween pieces to share. Um, most of these are finished, but I do have some that still need the bags domed on them, but I just wanted to go ahead and get um, everything posted at once. So here's the first piece that I made. It's just got a multi-glitter orange background, this nice vintage looking um, Halloween cat and a couple of candies. And then I have this one. It's got a really crazy neon green um, with a lot of different glitters in there. There's like five different glitters in the background on that one. And again, it's just got like some candies. It says Boo. I like that one a lot. And then this one is a super neon orange, which is a little hard to pick up on the camera. Um, and it's just got three cute little candies with faces on them. The stickers are a little more translucent than I expected, so you can kind of see the background through the white parts of the stickers, but um, that's still pretty nice. And then I have this Hello Kitty one, little witch Hello Kitty writing on a broomstick. Um, and it's got this blue and purple background. And then this one, I really like how this one came out. It's got this trio of pumpkins and it says Boo. And it's got a really pretty background with some um, cellophane glitter and a couple of different shades of purple. Um, and that one's all domed on the back. So I really like how that one came out. And this one, I love this one. Um, I had this really cute haunted house sticker, so I put kind of like a black um, ground layer and then this nice purple sky, um, and it says boo, and it's got that cute little ghost coming out of the haunted house. I love how this one came out. And when I domed this one, I chose to leave the sky part clear on the back so that some light comes through it. I liked that one. And then I have a couple of big square pieces. This one, um, this green was just some leftover glitter from some, for, uh, sorry, leftover resin from another piece that I had mixed. So once it was done, I went ahead and put these stickers on it and then domed over them. These really cool black glitter stickers. So there's a coffin and a couple of bones. And then this one, I'm not super happy with how this came out. I like the sticker that's in the middle. The camera will focus. Sorry. I'm not used to, I don't usually keep things in the background because that's what makes the camera not focus. Um, and I tried to do these orange and black stripes and I really don't like how those came out, but I'll make it into a magnet and stick it on my fridge, I guess. Scoop these out of the way. This one I am really happy with. Um, it's this black cat glitter silhouette. Um, and there's a bunch of stars in here. It's kind of hard to see. There's these glow-in-the-dark stars. There's a couple of silver ones. There's a bunch of iridescent stars in there as well, floating at different levels. Like, some of them are right up at the top. Some of them are down in the bottom glitter layer. And then it's got this really nice gradient um, of purples in the background. They look a little more blue on the camera. They're actually... This is kind of a pinky color all the way up to a, a purple, so... But I really, really like how this one came out. And then I made these three Halloween cupcakes with the really cute cupcake mold that I have. So I just did a purple, green, and orange. They're just, um, you know, like a mixed glitter. And then I went ahead and painted the bases of them black um, and added some polka dots to them and just kind of domed over those. So I thought those were cute. I might make those into like a set of magnets. And then I made this big Hello Kitty piece with the Hello Kitty in her little devil costume. This little bat I think is super cute. I've got a couple of big um, candy cane erasers, uh, sorry, candy corn erasers actually in there. And it's on a really fun um, multi-purple iridescent background. And this one I like how this came out too. I've got a couple of ghosts. Um, this is actually a flaw in the sticker, which is a little bit of a bummer, but it just shows up silver. Um, and I put a couple of these Boo 
words in there. They're a little harder to see on this dark background, but it's got a really nice um, gradient background on there. I do need to put a solid color on the back of this one so that the light doesn't come through, but that one's cute. And then I have some other little pieces. And um, made this heart. It's got a glow in the dark um, Jack Lantern face balloon and a couple of stars. And the background is kind of a iridescent over a charcoal gray. And then this one that's neon green with a um, pumpkin candy basket and a couple of little candy stickers. The candy corn floated a little bit, which is a bummer because other than that, I loved this one. But it's still really cute, that super bright neon, and I love this sticker. That one's all ready done in the back. And then here's another one with some candy pieces in it. Some more of these cute smiling candy stickers. So there's this roll of like Smarties, a little pumpkin and a candy, and it's got um, kind of chunky teal glitter in the background. And then I did this, let's see, this Hello Kitty one again um, in her devil costume with a little pumpkin. And it's got kind of a iridescent over copper background, which came out really neat, I thought. And then here's another Devil Kitty. Oh. And she's just on a really um, pretty red background. And this one is one of Hello Kitty's little bat friends. Come on, camera. Um, with a pumpkin and on a really pretty purple. I might have to keep this one for myself because I really like how it came out. Just two more. I have this one. It's got this cool skull with a candle on it. It's got some stars in the background over like a charcoal, silver, and black. And then the last one is another one of these with the Hello Kitty's little bat friend um, with some stars over, um, there's some stars in the background as well over kind of like an orangey red glitter. So there's all my Halloween stuff all kind of a mess now because I was just trying to get it out of the way. Um, but I will probably be doing a whole bunch more Halloween because it's my absolute favorite. Um, all of these will become something and will at some point be in my Etsy store. Just a reminder, you can always check out my Etsy store. You can find the link down here. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.